Hi there. In the previous video, I demonstrated how to program a Bofeng UV5R using the Chirp software. In today's video, I'll cover how to program a Yesu F260 using both Chirp and another programming software called RT Systems. While Chirp is a free open sourced software used in conjunction with a third party programming cable, RT Systems offers commercial programming kits which include the software and programming cables specific to your radio for a price. Upon reviewing the RT Systems website, one of the first things I noticed is they don't reference support for Linux, only Windows and Mac are mentioned, whereas Chirp supports versions of their software for all three of those operating systems. In reading through the RT Systems product guide, they state there are no plans to address Linux, so if you're someone that uses Linux, you may want to stick with Chirp if that's what you're already using. Using the FT60 as an example, the price point for the RT system software package retails at $49, which includes the software and programming cable. You also have the option of just purchasing the software for $25 if you already have the programming cable, or if you have the software and just need the cable, you can purchase one for $30. If you're on a budget and aren't able to invest in programming software, then perhaps Chirp and a third-party cable from Amazon is your best bet. Also, if you're new to radio and or just running a UV5R or something comparable as your main HT, then Chirp will service your needs. Now you may be asking, since Chirp is free, what is the benefit of paying for the RT system software? Well, I use both Chirp and RT systems. In my opinion, both are excellent, function as expected, and I don't think you can go wrong with either one. However, for those of you who want to explore more features of your radio and need something a little more robust, then consider adding RT systems to your software collection. Additionally, the software is specific to the firmware version of the radio you're programming. If you recall from the previous video, I touched on the subject of accidentally uploading an image to a radio with a different firmware version. The RT system software is designed to work with the firmware version intended for the radio. Once I was able to include purchasing programming software into my budget, I opted for RT systems for my Yesus for the reason that their solution is tended, intended to make the experience as seamless as possible. As great as Chirp is, I wanted something more robust for the Yesus because those are radios I use the most. Also, since the RT systems programmers are radio specific, it addresses all of the radio's features where Chirp may have some limitations. Now let's take a look at the steps for programming the FT60 using Chirp. In the previous video, the steps for programming the Bofeng UV5R were pretty easy. Programming the FT60 is a little more difficult as more steps are required than just turning on the radio and uploading the code plug. If you need to program an FT60 with Chirp, then you may want to write down these instructions so you have them on hand until you get used to the process. I'm sharing my screen, I have the Chirp software running, and I will connect the radio to my machine via this third-party programming cable I purchased from Amazon. So to download from the radio, as you power the radio on, you're going to want to hold down the Mani button. And that's the button right in the middle here on the side underneath the PTT button. So you'll hold that down and you will power the radio on. And once it turns on, you'll scroll to the setting uh, clone. And once you're on clone, you'll press the FW button, and that is the button in the lower right-hand corner of the keypad. So we'll press that. It will flash on and off, and it will come back to clone. And then what you'll do is you will go into the software, go to radio, download from radio. You'll select your COM port, the brand of the radio, and of course the model. And before you click OK, um, what you're going to need to do is after you click OK, you're going to need to press the 
PTT button and you're going to hold that down just for a brief second and then release it and then it should begin downloading the information from the radio to the software. So I'll go ahead and do that now. I'll click OK and hold down the PTT and once you do that you should see on the display TX and also on the software it should tell you that it's cloning from the radio and there is a window letting me know that it is transferring data from the radio to the software. So we'll give that a second to complete. Once it completes downloading it should show us uh, just like in the last video with the Bofang a list of frequencies that are saved to that radio. And that's what we see here. So once you have your frequencies displayed, if you want to make any changes to uh, the code plug, you can go ahead and do those now. Uh, we'll just go ahead and enter a generic frequency. And we'll just call that Nation 2. And what I want to show you next is how to upload this information into the radio once you've made changes to your code plug. So we'll go back to the radio and we'll press the money button again. And on the display you'll see RX. You'll go back up to radio in the software, upload to radio, press OK, and it will begin the cloning process and transferring that new code plug into your radio. Once this completes, we'll turn the radio off and then back on, and then we should be able to scroll through the uh, new frequencies on the radio. So we'll give that a moment. And it's complete, so I'll turn it off. And then back on. And we're currently in channel mode, so I'll just kind of scroll through these, and it looks like it is. Uh, it has saved our frequencies into the radio, and that is all there is to it with programming with Chirp. Now we'll review programming the radio with the RT system software, but this time we'll be using the programming cable I received when I purchased the programmer. The process to download the FT60 is also the same procedure you just saw with Chirp. However, one of the helpful features of the RT systems programmer that you're about to see is the instructions we went through with Chirp will be displayed when programming the radio. I have the software open and the FT60 is connected to my computer with the RT Systems programming cable. I'll hold down the Imani button and power the radio on. Scroll through the menu until I get to clone. Press the FW key. It will flash off and then back on to clone. Select communications from the menu. Get data from radio. And it will display instructions that I mentioned on how to program the radio. I will press OK and hold down the PTT button. On the radio it is displaying TX and there is a window that popped up on the computer screen indicating that data is being transferred from the radio to the software. As we saw with Chirp, in a moment you should see the frequencies that were programmed into the radio displayed on the RT Systems code plug. And there's our frequencies, and if we wanted to modify this, once again, I'll just enter a generic frequency. I'll title this Nation 2.
and to upload the modified code plug into the radio, I'll go to communications, send data to radio. And before I click OK, I will press the Moni button again. Click OK. And on the radio, it displays RX. And you'll see another window displayed on the computer screen indicating that data is being transferred from the software to the radio. This usually takes about a minute or two to complete the transfer, so bear with me. Okay, the transfer is complete. I'll turn the radio off and then back on and scroll through my memory channels just to verify that the transfer was successful and it was. Okay, well, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.